Brad Newberg of SB Nation Fantasy here, talking with Jerry Mallory of Pride of Detroit, our Detroit Lions blog, for our Fantasy Friday, where we ask our NFL bloggers a couple of quick hit questions about the fantasy games coming up. So, Jerry, I finally dropped Titus Young, and he repaid me by hauling in nine passes for 100 yards and two touchdowns. Is he the main guy going forward in a second wide receiver position now that Burleson is out? And what is Titus Young's injury status? Titus Young is definitely the go-to guy right after Calvin Johnson now that Nate Burleson is gone. I was able to pick up Titus in all of my fantasy leagues. I actually did it before Burleson even got hurt. He was dropped unanimously in so many leagues because of his slow production starting off. And I figured he's a good player. He had a good rookie year, and regardless to if Burleson was hurt or not, eventually Titus Young would turn the corner. There's just too much talent there for him not to succeed in the stat sheets, both in the real world and in the fantasy world. Nate Burleson being out only makes that point much more evident. Uh, he'll be the number two option. Calvin continues to get double team, triple team, sometimes quadruple team and Titus Young will be the beneficiary of that. Along with all the other Detroit receivers, Stafford likes to throw the ball all around the place, but Titus Young, after Calvin, is definitely the go-to guy. I would rank him as high as wide receiver number two in most leagues now. In terms of his injuries, he's had this knee issue all season. He'll be limited in practice. He might be out a day or two, but when Sunday rolls around, he plays each and every week. I think it's something that you don't have to worry too much about. It hasn't flared up too bad. Now, Mikel Ashore only had 10 carries last week, while Stafford threw 49 times and even had a rushing touchdown. And I hear Lashore had a personal day this week. So are the Lions running backs basically untouchable at this point from a fantasy perspective? Or is Lashore someone else going to be a viable option at any point going forward? I will call most of the Lions running backs as untouchable, with the exception of Mikel Lashore. Uh, if you need a flex position player, maybe you have some running backs on a bye week, maybe you want to use him as a running back number three, I'm okay with it there. Mikel DeShore, although he won't get you a ton of production because the Lions like to pass the ball a lot, it looks like Scott Linehan is going to start throwing the ball even more now. He's going away from the balanced offense we tried to do early in the season. It didn't work. He's still the workhorse. So any given Sunday, he's going to get 10 to 20 carries on the ground, and he'll get the ball thrown to him anywhere from three to five times a game. Kevin Smith sees a few, cut, uh, few catches or touches. Joyke Bell sees a little bit more, maybe about five or ten a game. And Javid Best is probably out for the whole year. So Mikel Shore is the main guy in Detroit. He'll get you anywhere from five points on some weeks, and he'll have you know 50 yards, running 20, catching. But there are some weeks where he'll explode. He's had a 100-yard game before, and he's seen the end zone. So oh, anywhere from five points on some weeks to 15 to 20 on others, if you're using him as a running back number three or flex position, I'm comfortable putting him there on some weeks. He's another guy, too. I'm looking at the matchups that week, see how the defenses are against the run, and if it's a favorable one, I plug him in. 